As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. That time a six-play drive, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. They're soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. They'll set up to throw. And his pass incomplete. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know... Those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This one winding toward a conclusion, and how would you assess how the secondary has played? Well, we just saw them take another shot downfield that was incomplete, correct? Correct. So my assessment is that if anyone's played really well in this game, it's been the secondary. That was the latest example. Yeah, they've been solid. Really, the whole defense has been solid. Still pitching a shutout. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. He's north of 150 yards in this game. He's been doing his thing, hasn't he? That he has, and he's been enjoying himself. And it's the type of game that you get locked into a pretty good groove. May not be record-shattering, but it's the type of game that if you accumulate that throughout a season, you're going to be one of the top receivers in the game. See how much they incorporate him here on this drive. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Looking to throw. Frazier airing this one out. For, and that's caught inside the 35. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a gain of 34. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. I was going to let this go for the end zone. And this will be caught, and the carnage